Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and peace out uh, to the rest of you. Uh, Black Heart Assign and Black and again asking you to hit that share button because the message benefits us and it's more important than the messenger. Thank you if you've hit share or like or subscribe, uh, either in, in either case. Um, now, I'm required to be fair and even though I do have human biases and partialities, I'm required to still uh, behave without these biases and partialities. My bias is in favor of BGS. Uh, my partiality as a human being would be in favor of BGS because I've learned information that's helped out and um, sorted out a lot of confusion for me. Now, my bias also would have been against Kenneth Thomas because of him doxing uh, multiple people in the manosphere. Later on, though, somebody gave me some information. And uh, this information was that in actuality, and then I got this from someone, um, someone who has to do with the manosphere, someone who has aided the manosphere. Uh, this information was that there was a grudge, uh, that there is a grudge in between uh, GMT, a Grandmaster Troll, and between Angry Man. And that Grandmaster Troll actually started as a fan. But uh, Angry Man, for whatever reason, got angry one day and uh, either disrespected or humiliated of both uh, GMT and did so publicly with no taste and no tact. Angry Man, um, I can't say that he wouldn't do something like that. I can't say that he would. I mean, I know that if Angry Man gets angry, he's going to tell you. And I also know, as a black man raised the same way and of the same age, that when black men get angry, especially older black men get angry, they don't feel they have to listen to anybody. Um, a lot of black women have the same thing. I mean, we're, 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 we're tra we are a traumatized people and we don't listen. We don't listen with the outer ear or the inner ear. We don't ponder, we don't think before we react. I mean, after all, I gave my advice based on the information that I had, but I didn't, uh, in all honesty, there were certain things I just didn't know about the history of why uh, GMTKT would dox people. I wasn't, I didn't know what that was about. I still say, better to make content and make a platform than to dox. I still stand by that. But, in all fairness, if K, if GMTKT did not dox BGS's daughter, then disregard my previous video. If he is in fact the one that doxed her, bring the evidence, post it in the comment section. I want to be fair about this. Um, someone by the name of Christopher commented on the video saying, wait a minute, hold up, BGS was the one that told one guy he'd do him in the butt and uh, and then told uh, KT that because he's a blurred, I mean a black nerd, that he should uh, resign himself to dating single mothers or fat women or unattractive women. Excuse me. Um, now, I don't know if this is true, and I'm not saying Christopher's last name. He, it was a comment that he wrote. Uh, if you find the comment, you'll see all of it. But I don't have permission. I don't have contact with him to ask permission to put his whole name. I'm simply saying that there's someone like that. And frankly, you see the video and you see that he wrote it in public anyway. So it's not a secret. I'm just suspecting privacy here while giving you enough evidence to prove or disprove what I'm saying. Now, no, I can't co-sign something like that, even though... Uh, I don't think this was something that was meant literally. If BGS said something like this to another man, I'm not going to assume that he literally meant he would do him in the butt. But I can't I'm not allowed to. As a Muslim, I'm not allowed to. As a black man, I'm not allowed to. Um, also, um, if in fact, and I wanted to say this, I don't know what Angry Man said to KT that day. Uh, the last day that KT was a fan, you know, the day in which he woke up a fan and went to sleep not a fan. I don't know what uh, Angry Man said to him. If you know, tell me. Put the link somewhere. 
but I'm not really going to jump into this grudge between others. I'm going to debate the points and the principles only, and that's it. And one of the things I'm going to say, though, is that if a man is red pill aware, if he ever was a fan, we all know you can't take someone like that and then say to them that they should resign themselves. The whole point is that you, we don't sit up and say something like this to black men because they're somehow productive or because they don't fit negative stereotypes that are held in the minds of white supremacists about what we niggas should be. And I'm not calling us niggas. I'm mocking the white supremacists for calling us niggas. We become niggas if we think that these things are true and judge ourselves by these stereotypes. And unfortunately, we are trained to do this. This is a brainwashing to which not one of us is immune. Now, some of us get over this, but none of us are immune. No one is immune to this brainwashing. We think we are niggas. We have a nigga in us. Each one of us walks around with a nigga software. And it's not just in America, it's in Africa too. And in the rest of the diaspora. When I say diaspora, I'm not including the continent. That's the origin. And that's another thing we got to get right. Edwin Anderson was right. Black folks love to change the meanings of words and not even know what they mean, let alone leave them with the proper meanings. You know who else does this? Arabs. You know who else I have to talk bad about in order to make you understand that you're not abnormally dysfunctional after what you've been through, but you are still dysfunctional because of what you've been through? Arabs. Bedouin Arabs especially. These niggas, oh, they love to play games with their own language. Because the language, it has a long history and is rich, but they love to play games with it. That's why they sit up and call us slaves. And instead of stopping calling us slaves when we tell them cut that mess out, they just want to keep on saying, oh no, slave doesn't really mean owned or possessed by another person. We just use it to mean black. Okay, all right, terrorist. No, you can't say that. No, no, it, it just means somebody who's, you know, not black. That's all. Okay, camel rapist. Oh, how could you say that? Well, you know, I know you don't rape camels, but you know, you're not black. So, you know, we call you camel rapist. That's all. It just means something else. They don't, they see, then they don't tolerate it. And this is another thing we have to get, we have to come to understand. We can't play games with the English language or with any language. And we do need to know the meanings of words properly before we start to use them a whole lot, like diaspora. But that's another topic and another recording for another day. This, um, this nigga software is in all of us, the old and the young. And we cannot sit up here and start pointing fingers at black men and saying, well, uh, because of this appearance, uh, because of these hobbies, because of this, you deserve to be treated like an inferior man. If we're going to treat anyone like an inferior man, it would be those who would say to somebody else that they deserve to be treated like an inferior man for something that doesn't really make them inferior. It would be sociopaths who deserve to be treated like inferior man inferior men but that's not good for the kids is it it would be the narcissist it would be the uh the, the idiots it would be the idness these are the ones who deserve to be treated like inferior men and relegated to these positions and a lot of times they are and that's not necessarily helping us out either i mean what do you think the guy is that killed uh i forgot the name of the boy i think it's Kamir perkins but the one whose case came up, he, he died three years ago. He was beaten to death and his mother saw it and didn't stop it. She washed him and put on the makeup. And, uh, she washed him, read the Bible and the makeup before she carried him to the hospital. But the case became famous because it's gone to the courts now. Okay, oh, and by the way, uh, the child services people had five cases that they just closed without an investigation. So excuse me, but um, look... How was that working? This was the itness. He had to settle for a, a big old husky, heavyweight, single mother with dysfunction and weave. The, the, all the stereotypes. How did that work out for the baby? We got to be careful what we say, the old and the young of us. I don't know if he really said it or not because I don't have the evidence. I don't know if he really pointed a finger at GMTKT and said, you should settle for this, that, and the other because you're some kind of an inferior man or you're some kind of uh, blurred. Uh, I don't know if that's the case or not. I'm really not sure. What I understand uh, is that if he did, this is the consequence of it. And I don't like it either. I don't like the fact that he had, he got doxxed. I don't like the fact that anyone went and doxxed his daughter. I don't like the fact that his daughter went and uh, uh, doxxed herself to a certain extent. Because it was apparently through Facebook that this happened. And I'm going to take KT's word that he did not dox BGS's daughter for one reason. 
It's not because I'm biased in favor of KT. I'm not I'm scared of uh, folks that go around and would dox you, things like that. I'm going to take his word for it, actually, because he has a history of saying, I dox this person. I found this information. Look what I know on him. This, I, and I'm exposing this. He has a history of saying he's going to do it. Now, GMT, KT, I got one request for you. I heard you say that you're going to go after Don Calypso. Man, please don't do that. Because Don Calypso, even though he disagrees with you, he doesn't make uh, public statements against you. I mean, I don't think you know, know of him as being a content creator. Other people got things that they say against you. <laughs> they do, but not him. Now, I know he disagrees with you. I know that, but... You know, as far as him, like, publicly insulting you or anything, like, he doesn't even, that's the whole point. He doesn't even make content to do this. <laughs> Here's what, I got some better targets for your hit list, if you got them. If you still have a hit list, please go after Black Woman's Fear. Doc Cynthia G with a real name. I don't know if she ever put a real name out or not. I'm not sure. Apparently, you doxed the porn star that was out there talking junk. Okay, good. That's a start. Go after the ones that are, are, are trying to uphold the matriarchy that has not helped out our community for the longest. And it actually is teaching our boys that they should accept ratchet behavior from black women from which they don't even get the, the basic benefit of, of sex when they're young and then turn around and forgive it when they get older and raise these women's kids by other men. This matriarchy is telling black men you should accept our atavistic mating tendencies. That's what they're selling. That's what they're saying to us. And Mr. Thomas, they're not they're not friendly towards you either. These atavistic mating tendencies are also there to exclude you until they need someone to raise someone else's kids. Because most of us men, most men in general, are in that pool that they want to raise someone else's kids. Few of us are in the pool of men whose kids that they want to have and conceive and bring forth. These women are sitting up, and that's not just black women, it's Western women in general, Mr. Thomas. They're sitting up and they're saying that, um, that most of us are inferior and don't deserve uh, to have kids. Hell, not even, don't even deserve to have an orgasm having anything to do with a woman. Don't even deserve any sort of basic sexual satisfaction. That the only sex we deserve should be whatever kind we can't stand. That's pretty much what they feel. In other words, they have a genetic uh, distaste and, and grudge against the majority of us for being normal. And that includes you. Whether you're normal or subnormal, either one. And they're going to take 13 to 14 percent of us and say they are good enough genetically to have their own children. So understand this. What you've been doing has been interpreted by the manosphere black and negro manospheres as being in favor of, of the gynocracy or the matriarchy, whichever the case, whatever term you want to call it. It's been interpreted as, as favoring them. Maybe you did, maybe you meant that, maybe not. But if you don't mean that, if you're not trying to favor them, if you're not trying to, um, to, to uphold them, then go ahead and go after the ones that are talking against, to go after Paris Milan and Chrissy, tell us what their real names are. Hell, I mean, I don't even hate light-skinned tears, per se. But um, if you got a problem with her dating a white man and, and, and talking about it, go after it. If you don't have a problem with it, don't worry about it. But, you know, when we got real enemies out there from within. And it doesn't behoove someone with talent to go in and join their ranks. Don Calypso's not the enemy. Even if he doesn't like you, he ain't the enemy. He's really not the problem. To a certain extent, Angry Man's not the enemy. Now, you may see a problem with him, but he's not necessarily the enemy. BGS ain't really the enemy. Even if you see a problem with him, he's not the enemy. He's not trying to bring down brothers. He's not trying to keep us under the, uh, the heel of the matriarchy. And you don't want to help that process even unknowingly. You want to avoid it, even uh, in ways that you're not aware of. So... Um, yeah, disregard my last video if you did not dox anybody's kids. Then disregard what I said about it. Because if you did not dox anyone's kids, they should not come after you for it. That's just fair. If you're really innocent of it, there's no reason you should pay for it. That's the whole point of my message uh, regarding black men in the matriarchy. 
if you did not do anything to hurt these women and you're not the f-boys that, that pump them and dump them and leave them with these babies or pump them and dump them and then you're there for the babies but not the way they want then you don't have to suffer for the ones who did the did do these things and you don't have to suffer because she made bad choices you don't have to do that so um if that's the crux of my message then that's the crux of my message even regarding you but yeah man uh, uh, audience part in the window is there's nothing i could do about that there's no place i can stand to escape it at this point but um that being said i hope that what i've said is not only a benefit but i hope that what i've said is fair to all parties when we're biased in favor of them or when we're biased against them Blackheart, sign a blackout. Assalamu alaikum and thanks for listening.